arrived. Sorry about the crazy hair. Things get weird when uh, I take a shower and then it dries. And my door is locked. Crap. So this is what is going to allow me to uh, read proper speed and make sure that uh, my odometer reads correctly when driving with larger tires on my truck. So this is the Hypertech uh, speedometer cali calibrator as you can see it's literally just this tiny little computer chip uh, so we plug these two ends in to the dashboard and then plug the computer chip into this and uh, it tells the computer that our tire size is different it's a very simple kit if you can't tell wiring harness this is freaking mad it's amazing how many uh, sensors and stuff run throughout these trucks but yeah, wiring harness, so this is what goes in line uh, up behind the dash. And then we have our plug right here that's going to go to the Hypertech uh, clip, or chip, right here. 2016 to 2021 Tacoma, as you can see. This right here is our micro USB cable, um, which is going to let us plug this into the computer and throw in all sorts of different parameters. So let's hop over onto the computer. We're going to get the chip uh, programmed first, and then we'll come back out and get it plugged into the truck and see what it does. Okay, so here we are on hypertech.com. Uh, I don't know if I have to like select all this stuff. Yup. That is what I bought. Uh, download and update software. Cool. That is what I want finish. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the chip. Just download everything. Oh yes, always read through the entirety of the agreement. Agree, next, finish. Okay, checking for updates, checking for required USB drivers. Press update or configure device to start the update process or to configure device. I'm going to go out on the limb and say we're probably connecting it right now. Ah, doo doo. Update or configure. Yes, I want to do the firmware update. Well, this is taking absolutely forever to download 129 kilobytes. Successfully connected, and now it's doing another one. Okay. <laughs> uh, inline module application firmware, firmware successfully updated, and core firmware. It is now safe to configure or disconnect the module from your computer. Okay, now we got this big old screen right here with a whole bunch of information on it. We're going to select our year make and model. So I have a 2017 uh, Toyota Tacoma. And then correction mode, use tire and or gear values. Uh, that's what I want to do. Tires are non-stock. Yes. So the original stock tires are 265 70 R16s and the new ones are 315 75 R16s. So it goes from 31 to almost 35. Uh, cool. I'm not going to check the gears are non-stock. I mean, they are stock right now. But from what I understand, it is recommended um, that when you do the re-gear on the Tacoma, which I will be doing eventually, not to change the values in this software, because apparently it does really funky things to your, your dashboard. Um, but instead, the tune that I had done, the uh, Overland or the yeah Overland Taylor tuning, the OTT, um, that has a tune that will change your gear uh, ratio and fixes all the problems. So make sure that whenever you, um, if you get your truck re-geared and you have the OTT, 
that you uh, have them input all the stuff. So just a random plug. Cool, so we have the new stuff in. I'm gonna hit program module right here. I know it's hard to see. Module successfully programmed, safe to disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit. I'm gonna exit everything and then I'm gonna disconnect it with the chip successfully programmed. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the driver's seat and get into this dashboard. All right, go ahead and clean up my life here for a second. So we're gonna be getting into the dashboard here. Start by pulling everything out of the way. That could potentially be in the way. Uh, with the Toyota setup here, it's really easy to take these off. Go ahead and get two fingers or four fingers or whatever behind wherever you can gr find grip and then just kind of pull. And then all these little red pop tabs just slide right out of place. And that'll expose this portion right here. We're gonna do the same on this side. There you go. So now up in here, we got these two screws right here which they are probably like an eight millimeter bolt or something like that. I'm gonna just use a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. And then we got two down in the corner here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and undo those four and then we'll be able to attack the dash. And just like that, the dashboard is out. Oh boy. Uh, this is really difficult with the neighborhood cat hanging out. So I'm gonna get you in here just to show you, but that plug in the center of the screen right now, that's the one you're gonna be removing. And then you're gonna be plugging in the uh, male end of the connector, and then the female end goes to the, the part of the plug that you take off. Um, ew, I don't know what that is, but I have to clean that up. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because this is really annoying, and I'll just have you watching over my shoulder, and then we'll go for a drive. I forgot to mention, but before you do anything electrical in your car, it's always a good idea to disconnect the battery because you never know what kind of th weird stuff that electrical transients will do. And I'm a fan of not having to replace things because I was stupid. So do yourself a favor, unplug it. Okay, I'm, and before I put the uh, trim back on, not that it was hard to take off, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery in. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully nothing bad. I am though going to leave this chip just sitting right up here because that way uh, if I ever reprogram it for a you know stock tire size or whatever I just have to pull the dash back off like this. I don't have to take this part out though. I can just unplug, unplug it from here and call it a day. Hopefully it doesn't like vibrate back in there. Okay, well the truck is on. I don't have any engine codes or anything like that transmission code so that's probably a good sign all right now i just gotta figure out how to get this crap back in i'm gonna pull up google maps here actually you know what i'm gonna pull up Waze. see i like Waze so much better all right we'll bring it up to like 30 or so <clears throat> maybe 40 if we're feeling froggy and make sure that the speed is tracking with the uh the gps there right, we're at 29 31 32, 33, man, this is incredible. It tracks so well, holy cow. Well, 10 out of 10 on this Hypertech, that's amazing. A real test is when we get up to like super high speeds, like hitting 70 miles an hour just to see what happens, but I'm not gonna do any of that until I get an alignment done, and that's okay. Let's bring it up to about 40. All right. 35. 37. Nice. Well, it's tracking very well. Cool. Well, my dudes, I am freaking in love with this. This is amazing. Uh, this is step three of four for fitting the 35s, which I currently have on the truck. You don't need this in order to run 35s. In fact, probably the majority of people that put oversized tires on their truck um, don't do anything like this, right? Because they don't care about what their odometer reads. And even if they do end up selling their truck later, 
Um, they don't care because it's not their truck anymore. I don't like that. I don't agree with that mindset. Um, I want people, if I were to sell my Tacoma, um, I want to be true to, you know, whatever the mileage is. Yeah. So I want to be true to the mileage of the truck. Um, not just if I, for whatever reason, end up selling it, which I don't ever intend to sell this truck. I love this truck. Um, but also because I want to know what it's at, you know, I, I want to be able to look at the odometer and, and trust that that is indeed how many miles are on the truck. Cause I don't care if my truck says 200,000 miles. I actually want it to say 200 or 300,000 miles because that's, it's, you know, it's a rite of passage with a Toyota truck when you start passing these big milestones, um, no pun intended. Anyways, uh, so the other thing is, is that my speed is adequate and accurate, so I don't have to do math and think, oh, you know, I've been watching the GPS and I'm about six miles per hour different on the highway or whatever. I don't want to do that because uh, that gets into the legalities of speeding. So that aside, um, I don't have to worry about it because it tracks amazingly, uh, which is awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, if you've learned something or, you know, you're looking at getting a Hypertech yourself, then with my very, very initial impression of it, because I just bought it today or just received it today, uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm hoping that that enjoyment continues throughout the life of the truck and that it doesn't fail me. Um, but with electronics and software, you never know. Uh, yeah. So I guess with that, I hope you guys are enjoying the build. Stay tuned for the final portion of uh, setting up for... 35s on the truck, which is those C4 fabrication fender liners. If you missed the lift or any other stuff, hop back in this playlist and you'll find them. But see you guys next time. Uh, you've heard enough of me rambling. Midnight sign out.